Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're going to be talking about living with your parents. Um, where do I fall into that category? So what sparked this whole thing? Well, let me show you. Okay. So what sparked this whole thing was somebody posted this. It, what, this is not who I saw about. This is Ordinary Gamers. But I saw this post coming from several people. Um, so it says you're 27 years old. Teenagers, uh, t you're a 27-year-old teenage girl starting a new job next week. And your parents insist on practicing your new commute. And then Lauren Southern put up a uh, tweet. And let me see if I can open this whole thing. Put up a tweet that says, people act like living, kids living at home past their 20s is some vile modernist act for inf infilized. Oh, my God. Why are they going to do that? Infantilized adult. Meanwhile, many Slavic family sons will live with them late into their 20s until they're saved up for a home or gotten married. As this shows... Um, as this shows how it was done in the old world. And then June, or shoe on head, says, lived at home until I was 27, moved out, moved back in at 29 during COVID, moved out again last year, also grew up in a multi-generational home. So maybe that's that's it. I'll just blame it on being Italian. Love my family. And then we'll read this last comment. I'm 27, moved out at 18 with my girlfriend, moved back in to help my sick mom at 19, moved back out during COVID when I was 24 with a friend, Back in a year later, when my lease was uh, up and I was fucked over by two room roommates in a, a row, I've been living with my dad since. I'm bad with monies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so let me say this. I personally moved out of my house at 17. I moved out of my parents' house at 17, came back at 19, um, left again at 20, uh, came back when I was 23, and I haven't lived with my parents since. Um, so it's, it really, it really deals more with the parents and it deals a lot more with, um, the culture. I'm going to say if we're, if we're talking about Italian culture, Asian cultures, Slavic cultures, I'm going to say in the African American culture or the black culture, whatever you guys want to say, I'm going to say in the black home. Okay. So in the black home, it, it tends to be more, you have to get out at, um, once you hit that 18, if you're not in college, right? I see a lot of families are fine if their son or daughter's in college. If you're not in college, you normally have to leave, right? In fact, I would say I saw that just in my community, period. Not just black, but in my specific town. Um, but I, don't, I obviously know that's not everywhere. Do I think it's smart to live with your parents as long as you can? Yes. I mean, why would you not do that? I don't care people calling you a loser. Here's the difference. It's a, I think it's a big difference if you're living with your parents and you're trying to be financially stable, you are getting money up, you're working a job, and you do that until you have enough money to get married and leave the home. Until then, or if that never happens, what's the problem with living with your parents? If you are, you have a job that you could easily afford an apartment by yourself, but you decide to you know, still live with your parents and help them out in any way, or, and also help yourself out, and everybody's doing fine, I think that's perfectly okay. I think it's a different thing when you get the whole stereotype, the whole cliche of living in your parents' basement and you're, you're just living off of them. You're not trying to do better in life. And I think that that get, becomes a little bit of a blurry line because now we live in an age of social media where you can make so much. You can get revenue from certain places now, right? You can get revenue from X. You can get revenue from Instagram. Um, you can get revenue from TikTok. You can get revenue from YouTube. You can get revenue from Kick. You can get revenue uh, revenue from Rumble. You can get revenue from Twitch. There's so many outlets to make money. But the thing about those outlets is just like, and I don't understand why people are against working a nine to five, but just like working a nine to five, you may have to build up some experience. You may It may take you a few years to get real money coming in, right? Just like if your first job is Whataburger because you... Uh, or if, even if you went to college, you're still not going to have like a great job while you're in college. So so if, let's say your first job is Whataburger. There's no way you're probably going to make enough money to sustain yourself. It's going to take you some time to build some skills to make enough money to either get promoted or to get a better job. Right. So it takes a little time to get money going. So either way. But I think people tend to look down on guys who are in their mother's basement. Let's, let's say they're not fat. You know what I'm saying? Because for some reason, if the guy's fat, then he's an absolute loser. But if let's say you're down there and you're... Um, you're down there and you're playing your video games and you're not making that much money right now. You're putting in 10 hours a day. The money's just not flowing because in the very beginning, as all of us know, when it comes to social media, nobody knows who the F you are. Nobody knows you exist. 
And so at some point, <laughs> you have to build enough rep reputation of constantly putting your face out there until hopefully somebody finds you, clicks on that video, and then more people continue to do that. And then money comes in. That could be the first year on YouTube or whatever streaming service, or that could be five years from now. You know what I mean? But some people will call you a loser because you're playing video games. And the reason, and I, I'm not necessarily against the reasoning. I think the reasoning may be because most people will not make it in video gaming. Most people will not become an esports person. Most people will not make money on YouTube. Most people will never make money on any service, social media wise. As much as people think that people make money, the percentage is very, very low, especially making a living. Making a living. Which I, I, which I would consider at least forty-five to fifty thousand dollars a year. You know, that's enough for you to probably be able to pay for a decent apartment um, in a certain areas and be able to have insurance and stuff like that. For you to be making fifty thousand dollars a year on any platform, very few people will ever get to that point. Um, and so, because just because you see some people making six figures, is not mean you're going to make six figures. In fact, most people don't make six figures even out here in the real world, right? So let's be honest with ourselves. I can understand why people will call you a loser. Now, let's take a step back. Let's say you have a regular job, a nine to five, and you're just working to save money to get a home. And the, or, or you get married and you finally move out. Do I think there's a problem with that? No, I think that's perfectly fine. I don't think that makes you a loser to be smart. And some people do live in multi-generational houses, just like in New Orleans or in Louisiana. They have plenty of houses where people have been living there for 80, 90 years. Um, I had a friend who did the same thing. They had a house in Tennessee. They, they, it's just a big old house. I think it's like a nine-bedroom house. And they just swap it out. They just swap it out between family members. It started with the grandparents, and then the parents lived there. And now um, one of my friends lives there now. He he got the house himself. It's just how it goes. You just swap out, you know, um, throughout generations. So I think that's perfectly fine. I don't think that makes you a loser. I don't think there's nothing wrong with a parent um, wanting to walk the – 27-year-old uh, daughter and learn how to commute for the first time. It's just like, man, I'm not saying mind your business, and I, I think this is for discussion. I have no problem with people discussing it, but I got to say that getting out there on your own just to be broke is stupid. It's just like when people say they don't want to live with roommates, right? they rather go out there, pay $1,000 a month while they're making barely enough uh, to get by and they're surviving off ramen noodles and stuff, which happens, but they're surviving off ramen noodles and stuff when they could have easily had two roommates and not necessarily eat ramen noodles. Maybe they get to just a little bit better than that. They just eat the regular pasta and they're living off that and they're, they're saving plenty of money with two roommates. I understand people want to be introverts and I understand that, but I, me personally, even I had roommates and my roommate was an introvert. He never even came out of his room, never bothered me. I never bothered him. We showed respect towards each other, right? In fact, I was more of a mover because I've always been kind of a content creator to some degree. And so I would be around the house making videos. He never came out the room. He was the best roommate I've ever had because we were polar opposites. I would be around making videos and stuff, but he stayed in his room. He went to work, came home. You can totally do that, and everybody's paying the bills. And we saving money. So that's what I don't understand today, is why people look at, look at people and say they're losers because they're living with their parents. Would you rather live with your parents or live with a roommate? What difference does it make? I'd probably rather, me personally, I can't live with my parents. I couldn't do it now. Uh, I have a family. But I couldn't do it back then as easily because me and my parents didn't get along. But we had a different dynamic Right. I just told you that the black culture, if you're not in college, they tell you to get out. And I didn't go to college till I was older. So I had to get out or I had to try to get out. At least my parents weren't like, get out. But they were definitely like, you need to get moving. So that's just how it was. Me and my parents and I didn't get along with my parents. Um, me and my father were somewhat on the edge. And sometimes me and my mom were on the edge. That's just how we are. We all had big egos. That's just how we were. Other families aren't the same. And so I don't have a problem with people staying with their parents. I don't think that makes you a loser. I mean, it's not like you die at 30, okay? You know what I'm saying? If you live with your parents till you're 30 and then you go on to live till you're 80, that was 50 years you didn't live with your parents, but you got to spend that time with them. I don't understand why people are always rushing things. People think they're always running out of time. And I understand because, hey, to be honest, at any moment, any of us could die, but that doesn't mean you need to rush things. Get stuff done, but don't take this time. And I'm going to end with this. I want to tell you guys something that I really, truly, honestly regret. I have not lived by my family in a very long time, at least 
the last seven years, I have not lived by family. I regret that. Okay. I really regret that I moved away from my family at such a young age. Right. Because a lot of things that I don't get to see, I never get to see any of my nieces and nephews grow up. I'm very sad that I, um, I'm, I'm missing out on that. Um, I don't get to see my parents as they get into their older age. Right. I don't get to see my siblings at all and see how they're doing in their lives. I don't I don't get to be a part of family reunions. I don't get to be a part of a lot of stuff. I could go back and do this stuff, but I work so much. It's kind of hard to just go. It's, I mean, it would take me days to go back to my uh, hometown and days to get back. Right. Because I live so far away. I regret that. And so me personally, my hope is later here in life, once I kind of get my family going, as I'll move back by my family. I used to think I would never do that. And my young self got caught up in the whole, oh, I don't need to be around family. I need to be my own man and all that stuff. And I regret it. I hate watching my, my siblings. I hate watching my niece and nephews grow up on Facebook. I hate watching that. I hate watching my parents get older on Facebook. I hate watching, um, no, none of my immediate family is really gone yet, but I hate seeing my grandmother, right? She, she writes me all the, I mean, she sends me birthday cards every year and checks up on me every now and again. I hate that I have to see her, you know, she's starting to get to that place where she's starting to, you know, fade away. And I hate having to watch that or even think about it. And I'm not even there to hug her, kiss her or say anything. I regret moving away from my family at such a young age and watching a lot of this stuff pass me by. Right. Because my parents are older. My grandmother's over there. It just sucks. So I, if I could go back and do it again, I would have never moved. I would have figured out another way to do this. But it is what it is now. I am planning on moving back around my parents because I want to spend time with my family um, until, you know, we're all gone. You know, I want to be that. I want to be a family man. I want my son and I want my daughter to grow up and know who their grandparents were, because at this case, they don't even know who they are. You know what I'm saying? They would never know who they are. They would only see them on Facebook. So I don't know. I'm for people staying with their parents. Um, as long as they're being financially stable and they're trying their best, as long as they're not mooching off their parents and just using them, I don't think there's nothing wrong with living with your parents. But maybe I'm crazy. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'm gone.